my PhD advisor um, uh, is Marty Sel was Marty Seligman, but now is my colleague, um, has been Marty Seligman. I don't know what the grammatical uh, structure is there, but um, you know, he arguably is um, you know, one of the pioneers in understanding resilience, which is um, a response to adversity uh, that is um, at least as you know positive as uh, like as if the adversity didn't happen. And in some cases, one could argue like that uh, really resilient individuals can can even grow from from adversity. So like like net positive from adversity. Um, so uh, that's Marty's work. You know, he did experiments you know 50 plus years ago showing that um, one of the real challenges of adversity is that you feel helpless. Um, so when you have repeated negative events in your life that are beyond your control, you learn that you are relatively helpless in the face of adversity. And by contrast, a resilient response would be one where you are hunting uh, for that, you know, small sliver that you can control, not the illusion that you can control everything, but a resilient individual, you know, is always trying to think, I mean, you know, maybe Faustin would be like this. It's like, well, you know, this didn't work, that didn't work, that didn't work, that didn't work, but I haven't tried this yet. And so that's a resilient response to adversity. Um, I think the overlap with grit is that when you talk about pursuing a goal that is going to take you decades, maybe to realize that, you know, it's inevitable that you're going to have a lot of adversity, um, even if you're a privileged individual. I think you could argue that you're going to experience some kind of adversity or setback. And so resilience is an element of grit because without that, you know, you just sort of give up in year one or year two. Um, but it's not a complete recipe for grit because I think you could be a resilient individual and not have a passion, you know, not have something that, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, I'll never be get bored of this. And it's like, it's, it's who I am and it resonates with my highest, you know, values. So I think you know, resilience is important. Uh, it's certainly a subject of its own study, but I think it's more of an element of grit than uh, the complete package of grit.